guys, my name is Megan and today I want to talk about books, obviously, <laughs> but I don't want to talk about, you know, books that are coming out or, well, let me, let me rephrase. I want to talk about books that no one else talks about and this is a segment I have thought about for a while. Um, I want to talk about books that just no one's heard about, no one's like seen, you know, either books that have just recently come out and no one's talked about them or books that have been out for a long time and have faded from the limelight. I want to talk about books no one else are talking about. So the first book that I actually want to talk about is a new release. It was released in 2020 and I have not seen anything about it. It just showed up at my library and I was like, that is the cutest cover I've ever seen in my life, which is why I picked it up and which is why I'm really surprised no one else that I've seen has picked it up. So without further ado, that book is Super Adjacent by Crystal Sitari. I really hope I'm pronouncing that last name right. Um, Crystal Sitari. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Um, like I said, this book is just super cute cover. Sorry for the glare, but so cute. I love illustrated covers. I am a hoe for illustrated covers. So Super Adjacent is a story that is kind of alternate reality, kind of. I don't really know the technical um, genre. I would want to say fantasy or I'd want to say uh, speculative fiction. Um, this is set in a world in which there are superheroes and in which superheroes act almost like influencers do in our world. Um, they are social media stars and they also save the world. Uh, they're part of a big corporation that works to uh, facilitate them saving the world and promote <laughs> like a whole bunch of products. So uh, we follow actually two perspectives in this story. Um, we follow Claire and we follow Bridget. Uh, and Claire is a young high schooler who is obsessed with he the heroes and the hero corporation. And she's working real hard to become part of that corporation. She has no powers whatsoever, but she just wants to be part of you know, the business of it. Uh, so we follow her journey as she works towards an internship at this uh, company. And when she meets, she gets it and she meets a, bu a bunch of heroes, she ends up falling for one of them. And the story kind of takes off from there for her. The next uh, perspective we follow is Bridget. Now Bridget, she's in college and she's been part of this company for a while because she's dating one of the superheroes. Uh, and it's, I love this story because we follow such different perspectives. You know, we follow Claire who's in high school, who's young, and she's really naive about a lot of things. And then there's Bridget who's older. She understands the world a little bit better. Bridget sees through a lot of the facades of the glamour of the hero world. Um, and so we follow them and as they kind of as Claire learns about the hero nation, as she's starting to fall in love with a hero, and we see Bridget as she is struggling to keep her relationship afloat while her hero is out saving the world and being a media star. I really liked this story. I thought it was super captivating, really cute. It, I flew through it. It's only like 300 and something pages, and I, really, I flew through it in a day. It was so cute, so quick. Um, I will say that the book has very little plot. Uh, there is like a plot device, like there are aspects that you would think would be more interesting, but they weren't. Uh, so there is that problem. But if you are a character driven reader, you will love the story. Uh, the characters are fantastic. They're great. Um, you really don't see a lot of development in the side characters. But I do, I love the relationship that builds not only between the perspective, the two girl perspectives and the, their heroes, but I love the relationship that builds between them. You know, they become a great friendship. Uh, Bridget really starts to mentor Claire and it's, it's really nice to see and I really like that aspect of the story. Uh, besides the whole character and plot, I really think the world building was kind of well done and it was almost a little like meta and trippy because you know, you see she's taking this influencer culture that we have in our world and she's making it a step above with the state, with people actually saving lives as well as being media influencers. It's really interesting to see how 
it compares to how we view influencers today because it's it's I, there, you know Claire has an obsession with with the heroes and we see that today with people young young people being really obsessed with social media influencers it, I don't know it's a little trippy it makes you kind of step back and be like how you know it reminds you that not everything that we see on camera from influencers is what their real life is so I really I liked that too another thing Crystal did really well with this story is she used diversity so smart um diversity in this book there's a, such a wide range there is you know race diversity there is uh gender diversity there is uh, sexual orientation diversity there's so much of it and it's used naturally it's not forced upon it's not something that where she's like oh point for this diverse point for this diversity um she really like it's just natural she really uh makes it seem like this is how the world should be this is how we should be it should just be natural it should just be normal and i really appreciated that i liked it and every time i like saw something that i was like oh it's like that's really nice i really am glad that she incorporated that by the way i rated this i rated it 3.5 because like i said i loved the characters but i did think the plot fell short and i think some of the side character development fell short so that is super adjacent by crystal satari uh, i really hope you check it out um, maybe check out your library like i said the cover is so cute it's worth a read just for the cover if you you know have any questions just leave them in the comment and i'll be glad to answer them about the book you can also check out my Goodreads review. I really, I haven't heard anyone talk about it. It could be my fault because I pretty much have a small circle of like people that I watch, people that I see. I'm trying to expand. I'm trying to be better. I hope, you know, if you haven't heard of the story, I hope you go out and read it. Bye.